So in this video, I'm going to describe the light reactions of photosynthesis. So these reactions are light, dependent, which means they require light for this whole process to occur. And so essentially the whole purpose of this um, process is to make is to turn ADP and a phosphate group into ATP. And so using light to produce ATP um, is called photophosphorylation. So photo phos relation yeah it didn't fit and so this diagram here is going to help me explain to you uh, what essentially occurs so let me clear this and so essentially just to get an idea of where this is occurring as you can see down here is a thylakoid lumen and up here is a chloroplast stroma. So this is the membrane of the thylakoid. And so essentially what first occurs is a photon or light comes and hits that photosystem. And so after it hits the photosystem it excites an electron in PS2, photosystem 2. And so this electron is then passed on to the next thing um, called plastoquinone. And so now you may ask, uh, well, what happens? How do you replenish the electron? Well, essentially what happens is water down here is split up and then essentially they take the electron out of the hydrogen which makes H plus and then as well as O2 right there and so essentially the water is split to make to replenish the electrons and then oxygen is made as a byproduct and so the electrons here is passed along and then passed along and then here at photosystem one the light strikes the photosystem electron is excited and then the electron goes up here and turns NADP into NADPH binds with the hydrogen and then turns into NADPH and so now what's happening at this site is essentially after you split up all of the waters you have a ton of hydrogens over here and so there's a big concentration difference between the lumen and between here and here. So in, inside and the outside. And so a hydrogen gets punched through, gets like pushed through, and then a phosphate group becomes attached to an ADP to make ATP. And so now let's talk about, there's essentially two different types of photophosphorylation. There's cyclic and non-cyclic. And this cyclic and non-cyclic is essentially referring to electrons. And so let me some of this. And so as described before, electrons light hits here, electrons go from here all the way to here and then eventually out to NADP, right? That would be the non-cyclic um, type of photophosphorylation. However, another thing can occur. So I'll do this in red. So an electron can move from here to here to here to here. <clears throat> and then when it gets to photosystem 1, if you have a lot of NADPHs, what the electron is going to do is, it's essentially, 
just going to move back to photo system 1 and then the whole process repeats again essentially just to make more hydrogens which uh, as a result makes more ATP